Why would you always kill one side? How do I know that's the truth? Anybody? Because I had this water hose in my hand. I was pouring out. Anybody? Any, anybody <laughs> this is the, and this is just further proof. Noni. Dynamite. Dynamite. Yo. How you doing? My name is Cheryl. This is the Identity Booth. Um, cops be fucking up, right? I often wonder, like. When a cop is called to a, a, a situation, do is, is there any critical thought put in the process? Oh wait, um, before I go into this rant, uh, can you like, share, and subscribe? You know, all the cool YouTube stuff. 90% uh, of you guys are new here. Just hit the subscribe button if you if you made it this far. Hit the subscribe button. You might 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 get find something you like. Um, but I often wonder if like police just take the critical thought process into it, like. Do they understand that they don't have to, like, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to assume. They don't have to, to engrandize the situation. They don't have to escalate. They have, they don't have to do anything other than what is demanded of them. But then you got to remember the whole purpose of cops were to, Keep black people in their place. And this is a prime example of keeping black people in their place. Yeah. Why are they saying that? Is that your vehicle? No. It's not? It's the neighbor's vehicle. The neighbor's? 314, I'll be on 13. Okay. Yeah, you live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they're saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here and you're not supposed to be Who's here. Who's saying it? They called about it. I don't know who called. I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. You're Pastor Jennings? Yes. I'm looking out for their house while they go. Okay. Uh, while they fly. Okay. Well, that's cool. Do you have, like, ID and all? I don't know, man. I'm not going to give you no ID. Why not? I ain't did nothing wrong. And did well, nothing look, suspicious. listen. Listen, I'm not saying do nothing wrong. Doc, listen, There's a suspicious I a, person. Look, I used to be a police officer in Good War. Don't come in with that. Okay. Look, man, don't do this to me. <laughs> you, there's a suspicious person in the yard. And if you're not one to identify yourself. I don't have to identify myself. I'm just not a, I stop and identify state. That guy know me. He came to my store that got broke in. I live right over there across the street. Who calls y'all? That's what we got to figure out. But yeah, first, who I. Calls? He don't live here. Neighbor, I'm, I'm not saying nothing legal. about. You have no right to approach me if I ain't did nothing Girl, suspicious listen. or nothing wrong. Listen. Told him I'm a pastor. I pastor until I don't hear so this is this is the crazy part the only reason why this conversation is even happening is because people don't know how to mind their fucking business and this is what i mean but when i like if any any person who hasn't earned my trust they don't get the benefit of the doubt just like how he's not being given the benefit of the doubt because there's no way in hell you're telling me that this dude is suspicious because if he if you didn't know who lived there and you drove by and you saw someone watering their grass like, this is the equivalent of if I pulled up to my neighbor's house and there was a white man watering the grass, a black man watering the grass. I'd be curious, but he's watering the grass, so I wouldn't... That's the end of it for me. Oh, what if he then turned around and broke into the house? That's what fucking insurance is for. That's what, that's what home insurance is for. It covers you up to $100,000 in items... And the total length of your, the total cost of your house, if you have, if you pay upwards of 20, if you, if you're paying up towards a 20% of it a year, this is no one's being butchered to death here. And there's two officers, two officers now doing this. He's told you he's a pastor. He lives across the street. What he's doing, that's what you're perceiving him as doing. But what if he breaks in? But but why is that the first thing you think he's going to do? Furthermore, you can easily identify him. He's told you where he lives. He told you his name. You can identify this man. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Move on. But they have to assert their dominance. Sir. You want to lock me up? Lock me up. Nobody wants to lock, lock me up. I'm not showing y'all anything. I'm going to continue to run these blocks. I don't care who called y'all. Lock me up and see what happens. I want you to. Hey man, just come here and talk to us. Why, why? Back when I'm in the <laughs> Look man, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone, dude. Just calm down. Okay? No, no. 
Stop. I like this. Okay. We're just trying to talk to you and Sir, see. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to argue with you, okay? I don't, All right, yeah. go ahead. I'll do what you got to do, Doc. Do what you got to do. Go on and lock me up. Look, just have a seat. We're sorry we locked up. You're just. already lost him, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. already lost him. Just have a seat, okay? Okay. already lost him. Do you know that gentleman back? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Does he, does he have permission? He lives right there. Okay, does he have permission here to be watering flowers? He may because um, they are friends. Okay. And they went out of town today. So right. He may be watering their flowers. Okay. It'd be completely normal. Okay, that's is fine. that, that's, that's yeah. fine. If he would have said, hey. It took a white woman to prove the innocence of a black man. Why didn't the black man's word suffice? Why didn't the black man's action suffice? Why isn't our word, our presence deemed worthy enough? It's almost as if the years of constant repetition of lynching, raping, pillaging, and damage to our image has made us subhuman in the eyes of these officers who were designed to keep us in line. And now he's about to say, well, if he had just told us who he was, we'd be fine. He told you his name was Pastor Jenkins. He told you he lived across the street. He told you he was told he told you he belongs here. And that the homeowner said he could be watering the grass. He told you everything you needed to know, but they they want to make sure he knows he's not in charge. Hey, I got this. Gave his identification because he's a suspicious person. Uh, he says that's not his vehicle, it's, it's there. In Louisiana, is, Louisiana is not a stop and ID state. And suspicion is not a crime. Suspicion is not a crime. If, if suspicion is a crime, two armed officers harassing a black man doing nothing but watering the grass is suspicious to me. Vehicle. Okay. We have a call. Like, yeah. we're, we're here okay. because we're called here. I don't know who called, but somebody did. Okay. Who is Roy Milam? That's you, ain't it? I'm Michael Jennings, sir. You're Michael Jennings. Who is Roy Milam? I don't know. Okay, that's who that vehicle belongs to. Yeah, that's who all I know his name is Roy. That's who lives here? That's Roy. I call him Roy and I call his wife Connie and I've been dealing with him for seven years that I've yeah. been living here. They are friends. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you called not because of the car, but because you thought you saw someone besides him. Right. I didn't know it was him. Yeah. I'm he. I got to keep their flowers watered. I got to keep their flowers so, watered while they die. Right. So, and of course, the white woman is the person who called. White women just, man. I know y'all, some of y'all okay, but the rest of y'all disgust me. Because all it would have taken, all it would have taken was just her to continue being nosy from a distance and just keep watching to see what he's doing. Oh, it looks like he's watering the grass. Oh, it looks like that dude that lives down the street. Furthermore, she doesn't recognize her neighbors, at least the black ones. Oh, I saw a black person. He must be a criminal. Must be a criminal. Let me call the police. Like, no critical thinking at all. And if they decided to tase this dude, shoot this dude, arrest this dude, crazy. Crazy. Another thing that I think needs to stop happening is police going to the 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 person first and first finding the 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 caller because all she would have had to do is say yeah th that guy I think is it that do you know who that guy is well he looks like my neighbor she needs to be held responsible she needs to be held responsible for this you okay listen to me man listen to me. anytime the police come out and they say we want to identify you you have to identify yourself because there's a reasonable suspicion there's a reasonable man there's a vehicle there's a reasonable suspicion that you're here it's not a crime if you if you would have said yeah here's my name here's everything we're like okay you didn't tell me your name he so in this and other things on the body camp so this is a lawsuit like i, I hope the pastor gets paid he's gonna get paid clap it it's not a step on ID state. He gonna get paid. Why can't this shit happen to me? So I could give up this YouTube dream. He asked me who I was. I said, you didn't give it to me when I first Pastor asked. Pastor Jennings. Pastor Jennings. That's not a name. That's a pastor. Yeah. I need your name. The way y'all handle this situation was totally wrong. 
Well, listen, yep. you, you're racial profile. We're not racial profile. Yes, you, yes, you no, did. Sir. No, sir. We're not about I that. I told okay. you I was here wearing the flowers. How do I know that's the truth? Anybody? Because I had the water hose in my hand. I was anybody pick, the any, <laughs> anybody pick a hose. <laughs> and this is just further proof. So pissed when I tell him I got a this is the This is the point. How do I know you weren't here to rob? Because I don't have a crowbar. I don't have a ski mask on. I'm here with a hose in my hand, watering grass in front of you. This is this is the this is the critical thinking part that they lack. One of his flowers. Seven years well, look, we've been look, praying. We got that. Look, let's sit back in here. Okay. You can sit down. Give me so we can get this going on the ball. All right. What is your uh, social? Give you need to give me your social. I'll give you Pastor. my name. That's all I'm gonna give you. You're not gonna run no 27 and 28 on me and get me in the system for no reason. All right, what's your name? The girl I went and told you who I am. Okay, yes. I'm Michael yes. Jennings. That's all you Michael Jennings. Get. Michael Jennings. Uh, to, 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 to. A black pastor in Alabama says police unlawfully arrested him May 2022. He was watering. Uh, da, 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 children's police arrested arrested Jennings on 22nd and charged him with obstruction of government operations according to a criminal complaint a mess a mess a municipality a municipalis judge dismissed the case in June according to the court documents provided to the USA Jennings attorney the arrest charge were irrational irresponsible and illegal Daniel says in his in the statement Police department was not immediately available for comment. I, I'm supposed to be here. The police ba body cam shows officers approaching, da 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 da, shouting and suing, da 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 da. We saw that. After officers handcuffed and his neighbors who called the police, suspicious person tells the officer he recognized Jennings. When the police asks if he has permission to be at the home watering the flowers, he says he may, he may because they are friends. Legal action against the department is forthcoming, Daniels told USA Today. A march and rally in Birmingham planned to support Jennings. Okay. He said Daniels, Daniels was among the attorneys who represented the family of Andrew Brown Jr., an unarmed black man who was shot and killed in Elizabeth City, North Carolina in April 2021. The family, which filed a $30 million civil rights lawsuit, was awarded $3 million a $3 million settlement in June. Chief Richards of the whatever and Children's Police Department may think all they have to do is drop the charges and this all goes away, said Jones. Another attorney representing Jennings in the in the statement, this is this was a crime, no mistake. I would hope that the Children's Ch Children's Police Department would understand the difference. Yeah, sue their ass. Like fuck it, clap it. I, I hope to. See, I'm happy to see it. Happy to hear about it, honestly. But I, just just let that marinate. A neighbor not willing to mind their own fucking business, and a mixture of cops who just don't want to. Get, how do I know you're not robbing the place? Cause I'm watering the fucking flowers. That's the statement of the year. I, I don't. Not much needs to be said after that. Like that's just. That's just all you really need to know and all you really need to fucking really understand and feel about this situation. So, um, I appreciate everybody, uh, being here, um, you know, go.